What's going on guys? Snap Oversteer MR2. Now Sealy Team 6, since I don't have the MR2 anymore and the BRZ isn't known for Snap Oversteer, we're gonna go back to my normal Instagram handle. We're waiting for some car parts today. Frank's here keeping me some company, right buddy? Something already did come in, but this isn't what I was expecting. All right, so we're gonna wait for the next thing to come in, which will seem like a few seconds for you. And I'm gonna roll that intro and next thing you know, the parts will be here. What's going on guys? You may notice that my hat has changed. Um, that intro was actually filmed about, I don't know, over a week ago when I got this in. Some things came up. I had to do some more work with getting the bracket made for this hydraulic e-brake. And uh, that is exactly what we're looking at today. This is the Siki pullback style hydraulic e-brake. It comes with the Willwood master cylinder, which is nice. So we're just gonna open it up, get a quick first look at it. Um, these series of videos are kind of the first look impression of the parts by themselves, and then will be the install. So that is why you see this TBO box here, because I actually made that video yesterday, and the intro, like I said, was about a week ago. So first thing we're gonna dive into here is the Siki break itself and then we will get into the wheel wood afterward. So let's open this up here. I did happen to open it when it first came in. Um, so these nuts and bolts here, they will actually be mounted in the two holes I will show in a second. So we'll set these off to the side. Um, you're welcomed by a very clear set of instructions taped on there very nicely. It's not gonna rip, it's not gonna go anywhere. I was thoroughly impressed. Got us a little sicky sticker. That is cool. Um, you have your different instructions in case you have the relocation rod and whatnot. Very nice, laid out, perfect. We're gonna pull this open, Get this out of the box. This way. Over to the side. Well, that is actually my fault. Look at that, that will mess up. There's a little uh, retaining pin here and I already had this kind of set up in order to be doing the uh, mount testing and whatnot. So I pulled out this little retaining pin, but that is not their fault. It's my fault. Poor planning before the video. So as you can see here, we have Siki across there, nice CNC milled machine. Everything looks very nice. The grip feels good. It would be cool if they had options to do like a, uh, a rubber grip or something on there. I think that'd be cool. I'm sure you can obviously just slide something over that. And when you're wearing your gloves and whatnot, it won't be an issue. This is pretty much the construction of that. Looks very nice. I have a feeling if you get one of these, you're naturally gonna wanna do a little, pretend that you're ripping it. Let's set that off to the side. These, uh, these nuts and bolts, like I said, will go in here. They come in here and there's a specific order that they go. This e-brake is actually going to be used with the SRS Concepts uh, dual caliper bracket in the rear. The issue I'm having right now is since this is the performance package uh, BRZ, is finding another set of BRZ brakes that is not gonna be $1,600, $1,700. I have a couple ideas on what I might do. Um, since this isn't going to be my actual stopping brake, I'm not going to be pressing the brake pedal and relying on these. I really just need the brakes just to lock up. Power Stop actually has a refurbished set of 08 to 17 Brembos, and those are the same part number as this, but the brake bias is a little bit different. But again, since I'm not using it as my normal set of brakes and I just need them to lock the rear up, I think those will be fine. So I believe we will be using the PowerStop 
3780s, I think they're called. But anyway, here is the Willwood Master Cylinder. As you know, we have the eBay TBO Turbo, and I almost even went with a eBay uh, hydraulic e-brake, but a good buddy of mine, Travis, he recommended this, and his car is absolutely gorgeous. He does great things, so he convinced me to go with this, mainly for the fact that it also comes with this Willwood Master cylinder. Very nice, very nice. Let's go open a little bit, take a look in there. This thing is clean. Now, the saying, pay nice or pay twice is true. Inside this box, we have a nice little Willwood sticker to complement our sticky sticker. You get your disclaimer of warranty. You have a little warning saying that it should not be installed by people like me. It should be installed by professionals. We are not professional, but we're working on our own vehicles. The Willwood instructions is pretty straightforward, okay? When you receive your hydraulic e-brake, there's gonna be a little pin here um, that will be inside of this little mechanism, I guess, I don't know the actual term for it. Be careful when sliding it out because you do have two plastic washers. This, it's two plastic washers. Here's our components. You will take your master cylinder. Oh, a little piece of advice, a little pro tip. Put in your uh, bolt here on the bottom first, or otherwise you're gonna have a hard time because of the space in between here. Um, it's very hard with this in the way to slide your hand under there with the with the plate on the bottom. So, little pro tip, put that on there first, and you will be in good position. Okay, slide this to here. Let's slide our master cylinder over there. Okay, Let's see what I'm talking about? My fingers already have to do some kind of weird finagling in order to hold that bottom one in. We're gonna go washer, then nut. Actually, yeah, go washer, then nut, washer, then nut. All right, now that we got that, basically, and then we're gonna go back to this little mechanism I talked about because I don't know its name. I'm just gonna thread it on here. And I like to thread it, I mean, you thread it on a little bit and you can line the holes back up, see the angle and whatnot, if that is an angle that you'd like. I personally would like it more upright, not so much cannon forward. So I'm gonna keep on twisting this in. Take your two plastic washers, hold them on the sides. Be careful to not slide them in the order. Kind of work your bracket well, piece here back and forth, finding the hole. Once you get that in position, just use my little pliers here to help flatten this out. There we go. I'll slide through there easily. Boom, done. All right, we'll tighten all these down and then move it into the car. This is a very high quality piece by Siki. I love it. I sent him a little video, that intro I made. Like I said, I filmed all that like a week ago. So I did that little intro and I sent it to him to see what they think. And if you guys enjoy those kind of intros, let me know. It does take a long time to to edit those, not a long time to film, but the editing takes a bit. And I can continue to do those kind of intros if you like that cinematic thing. 
This will be getting installed after my template I made um, comes back from the machine shop. I made my own and I made it to where the reservoir will actually sit pretty flush with the armrest of the BRZ. I know there are a couple other options to go with that can go around the uh, actual, around the boot, you can unbolt it, but my goal is to keep the center console in there. So that is why I came up with the design that I have. If you guys end up liking it and like the way it looks, let me know and I'm sure I can contact the machine shop and they might be able to make something for you. And uh, that pretty much sums up today's video on the Siki Hydraulic E-Brake with the Willwood Master Cylinder. If you guys enjoy it, uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.